The pandemic may be over, but medical personnel are still overworked due to a staff shortage. Despite an expansion of enrollment quotas in medical schools, departments of traditional Chinese medicine, pharmacy and nursing, as well as the lowering of the threshold for passing the national doctor's exams, the demand is still greater than the supply. This has led to a medical workers' protest on Sunday, dubbed the Black Cross Movement. The rally in front of the presidential office building was jointly conducted by medical workers from five branches of medicine. If you want a good medical environment, you have to start with the funding for medical facilities and investments in medicine. Only in this way can you have the budget needed to improve the employment situation of medical workers. Who would stay in this environment when a job doesn't guarantee a living? How can we continue to recruit students to study Chinese medicine when there aren't enough teachers to train them? It's very easy for people to get a license. The students worry that they haven't received a good education and haven't learned what they should learn, and that they do not have a good foundation. At the same time, the people who visit these doctors will become indirect victims. We have to work hard to improve the medical environment. However, if the medical environment changes, will the existing manpower be able to meet future demand? This will not necessarily happen, so we still need to keep monitoring the situation and keep an eye on the supply and demand. Facing the protesters, Health Minister Xue says Taiwan's population is aging rapidly and it isn't right to put limits on the number of medical manpower by law.